Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. My name is Moyo Ebele Chuku, and if it's your first time here, you're welcome. And if you're part of the family, ah, okay, go on. How you guys doing? How was your week? And your everything? I think I just started start calling. I start calling this like our channel. Welcome to our channel. So if you're new to the family, make sure you subscribe, like this video. Okay. So I'm not sure what we're going to do today, but let's just go straight into the video. You know, let's beat this beautiful face. Okay, from a hundred to another different kind of hundred. Okay, love you guys. Hi guys. So we're going into a Muffy and our classic. Yeah. So I went into the classic because the Muffy did not have any red color that I wanted. So I picked this one. And I've learned this new trick of this is like the best thing to do if you don't know how to blend. Go in with the deepest color first in the middle and then from there start building your transition. You know naturally transition is always like from the lightest to the darkest. But now we're starting from like a reverse. So we go first into that red one and now the orange one. I'm blending it as we're going higher. I don't know, this just made everything seem very simple for me. You know, I don't know, just try it, Shah. Just try it. So I blend, 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 blend. Even though we're starting from the darkest one, you still have to blend as you're going. And now we're going to the lightest shade. So now let's say we're supposed to start from the other way. We'd have started with the yellow to the orange to the red. But this way we're starting the other, like we're, we're reversing the process. Oh, you guys, can you see how this colors blend? Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh God. If only I didn't have hooded eyes. If only I didn't have hooded eyes. So now we're going into one Apodoka concealer something. It's just one cheap concealer stuff. And I always do this to check where I'm supposed to cut my crease. Like, can you guys see my face? After all the hard work of blending, look at where I'm going to have to cut my crease. Look at how high it is. It has covered like almost all the red. I was so sad. But anyway, what can we do? So I'm going to cut my crease. I'm just first of all going to line with the concealer and then I'll be using baby wipes to clean off the other color. The reason why I use baby wipes is because by the time I'm using that concealer, it might stain, the eyeshadow might stain the concealer and be giving it this kind of baby red or baby pink. So I wanted the canvas to be clean. That's why I wiped up that part. But you have to be very careful so that you don't wipe off your whole work. And I'm just setting the concealer. You can see it's still as white as it's supposed to be. If that red shade was still there, it it was going to alter the color, and I didn't want that to happen. And then I blend the rest with my hands. So now we're going into our yellow. Oh my god. I'm sorry guys. I skipped that. That was there. I first of all placed the yellow. I don't know how that went out of the video. And then the orange. And right now I'm trying to blend the orange with the yellow. I'm trying to marry them together so that it doesn't look too separated. Do you understand? Just continue doing this on and off until you are satisfied. Then I'm going into the red. Now this red is a lighter red. But you can see how it's kind of looking pink because of that white under. That's what would have happened if I had left that red underneath. But now I'm going to go into a deeper red, do you understand, to do the outer part and the brown. So the brown and the deeper red is from the classic. And that classic is actually a blush palette. It's not an eyeshadow palette. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm just blending it and trying to feather it out to make our eyes look flawless. And now I'm going to a very tiny brush, this is a Zoeva brush. And I'm, I went into the red to kind of make that place a little deep, do you understand? And now I'm blending it out with a very small blending brush. So now for the other eyes, I'm going back into the same color. I, I went back with the red, I started with the red, and to the orange, and to the yellow. Ah, oh my body step was hard though. I don't know who sent me a message. But oh well, I had to do that. It was hard when I was like putting concealer and foundation. I was trying not to clean it all the whole work. That was why it was hard. 
so I did the rest of my face off camera and I'm spritzing my face with the NYX finishing spray Pro Max highlighter baby we're going to highlight we're gonna glow to the guys and I'm spraying my face again this is the super stay Maybelline you know we got to give our face that extra matte finish so now I'm using the Davis pencil in 018 as my lip liner I'm extra lining it so that it will show like really really pressing into it so that it will really line my lips and then I'm going into that same concealer that I used for my eyes I'm going to use this as a base yeah as the base of the color i want to put i don't have a yellow lip stain or lipstick so we gotta improvise you know it's our work or the makeup artistry so i'm going into that yellow that i used for the first part of my eyes the inner color of my eye there so that's the same yellow i'm going into and i'm going to use it to form this beautiful lips just fixing up some falsies, fixing up some lashes. It doesn't really have a name, it's just one random, cheap but super awesome lashes. And I'm going in with a lip gloss to make the lips pop, look glossy and sexy. Thank you guys for watching. I love you all. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs>